ki nong hikai haka sunjuk jong confederation of all school teachers of meghalaya first term kilapan pa wa kim su hun satya ya karai kan tiu tulop ka sarkar jilla haka south rik nai tung ar jar ar buar ha pakran haka jelang hadien ka jemer jumot ka central executive committee confederation u ba me bon ling do long ba ka sarkar kam dei ban phia ya ka company kiu tulop shaki noi kai kat kum ki kardan jing puli bat ka dei ban long salansar ya boro kata mar khat pra hajar tingka Shwagani ka sor ka jala hadien ka jelang kan hun menteri nang bawa menteri nang bawa konrad ke sangma kalapan tiap ba ka jingirap pisa grand in age sa kinong hikai school ad hoc kata kandai haja tingka sa kinong hikai school secondary high secondary schools but science teachers na ka ba juyo man shwa ba nri hajar tingka sa kinong hikai lower primary upa primary hindi teachers but food teachers SSA na ka ba ki juyo man shwa. Ka fastom ka lapan bana ba ka sa sim rai pat ha ka santrik noi tung ar haja ar puar ha ka por ka rui bijim stem. ชมลายีกิจิงหุนดีฮากะนี่กาซีซีกะบังงีดังชิกะพิชงนิมชมละเอกะบันบันไอกะตะวนอกะไรฮากะนี่กาจอนเมกะจิงกระปัดกะลอง
this is not how a democracy works. This is not how a democracy looks like. This is not what democracy should be. So we cannot come to a decision whether we should take what the government has given us or whether the we should not take. When we met with all of these officers from the government and the ministers, we let it know to them that we want the same enhancement for the LP, UP, secondary and higher secondary. Our proposal is, because, is for these four different categories of teachers because these four different categories of teachers have been with us in the street for the last three months. We ask for the same salary enhancement. We know that there is a difference in qualifications, but still we seek for the same salary enhancement because we know that the influx is too much. We know that the price of all these vegetables and all has gone up too much and we want the same salary enhancement for these four categories. The other categories, we do not have a problem that the government has added the other categories. It's actually good, like we said. But we made it known to the government that these four different categories, that is the LP, UP, secondary and higher secondary, should get the same salary enhancement, which was 18,000. Now I stand here as a higher secondary teacher. Now if you take a look at how much the government is giving us, they are giving us 9,000. Actually I should be very happy because I'm getting more than the others. But no, I am very sad. Not just sad, I'm also angry at how the government feels that they know better than what we are going through. They are sitting in the chairs. They are earning a lakhs per month. They are earning a lakhs. And they feel that they know better than how much we should earn. When we kept telling them again and again and again and again that the salary enhancement that we are looking for should be uniform. It means should be the same. What they are doing is trying to divide the teachers. This is the same old policy that is being done, that is being followed by the Britishers while they were in India. Divide and rule. We are not happy, Mr. Konrad Sangma. We are not happy, Mr. Preston Tinsang. And we are not happy. Mr. Lakman Rumbo. In the other day, while Sir Preston Tinsang was addressing the press, he stated that the government is going to allocate 200 crores. But the number that came today is 100 crore. Where is the 100 crore? Where did it go to? How can, in a, in a few days, Two, three days, 100 crore or 200 crore becomes 100 crore. We do not even understand that. We really appreciate what the leader of the opposition party, Dr. Mukul Sangma, has done in the year 2016. He has upgraded the, en the enhancement by 100%. If you take a look from 2013 to 2016, the salary increased by 100%. So if we talk in terms of the highest country teachers, because I am a highest country teacher, we move from 12,000 to 24,000. And that is in the past. That is at a time where the budget allocation of Meghalaya was 13,000 crores. But if we take a look at the present context, 
The budget allocation of Meghalaya is 17,500 plus crores. Now if we take a look at the present context, the 3% of sales tax that is supposed to go to education, we do not know where did it go to for the last six years. Maybe it is time that we also try to find where is the 3% of sales tax that is supposed to go to education. We are not happy with this. However, just like I said in the past, and I will say it again, FASTAM is not about one particular person. FASTAM is not about five, six people. It is about everyone. Everyone in FASTAM is a leader. We treat everyone equally. We demand the same enhancement for everyone, irrespective of the different categories. In FASTAM right now, we have only the LP, UP, secondary and higher secondary. So we demanded the same for this. The other categories that are being added by the government, the government understands well based on their own context and pretext. However, we will again seek from the government that it reviews this to the itself. And if not, we will have a decision tomorrow morning from the teachers we have been here on the streets since March when we were sitting there outside of Embo's office every single day for one month to the time where we rallied the streets of Shillong on the 12th of May and to this very day where we have been in the streets sleeping day and night for the last one week. Today, we will also examine we will also examine what we should do, what decision should be taken, and we will ask from the teachers tomorrow. It will be based on their decision that we will come to the final decision. What steps should we take? But the steps that the teachers will be taking tomorrow, I want all of you to be clear what steps do you choose to take? Why do you choose to take? And you also think of whether the steps that you will be taking is good for you, is good for your fellow teachers or not. So today, what you can do is, you can watch the news, just like I said the other day, watch the news. Watch the news, understand the situation, digest it, and tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., we will have a decision that will be taken from you. We did not ask for 50% of enhancement or 100%. Whereas if you take a look right from 2010 till 2016, there was an enhancement of 220%. We did not ask for 220% from the government. We are only asking for an average 75% of enhancement but even that is not being given to us when we take a look at the secondary the higher secondary and the science teachers we are being given 50 percent of what we demanded whereas if you take a look at the lp section and the up we got 25 percent of what we demanded that is a blatant insult that is a blatant disrespect and that is something that the MDA government should not have done because it should have taken us into account if it doesn't have this much of money like I said in the past we will discuss we understood our first demand stood at the deficitization they said they cannot we came down to the deficit pattern they said they cannot and we came back down to the 18 percent of enhancement and 5% of increment. The increment, forget it. We did not, it was not even considered. And now we are getting something which is just like pebbles with no value. Therefore, dear teachers, I would request you tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. 
to think this through over tonight and please come back. We will have a decision tomorrow what we need to do and how we should move forward. We have always stated that we wanted to work together with the government. Even when we met with Kong Amparin Lingda yesterday and with Ba Jamino, I clearly stated that we have asked the government to take us into confidence so that we can also let the government know from where will the money come from. The 3% of cess tax belongs to education. Yesterday you have also seen a statement that should the government want, it can reduce all of these extra expenses. But no, it was not taken into consideration. And I do not really have much to say right now, except that I am really very unhappy. And I cannot be happy because we are not being treated equally at a time where we needed to be treated equally the most.